Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a project share for the Back to Basics collaboration hosted by Alicia, who is Alicia's Crafty Hoplop, and Alicia, who is Love Letter Generation. My projects, project projects today are 3D projects and basically one is a box and the other is a container, which is almost like a box. So we'll start with the first one, which is inspired by this tag. And this tag is from the Jen Hadfield flower child collection and it could be so just so you know this project can be adjusted to any cut apart that you have or any die cut that you have so this one is inspired by this die cut and it's very simple it's going to be this box and this box is exactly the same dimension as this cut apart so my template here this tag is four inches by four and three quarters and if you have a tag that is like two inches by three inches, then that's what you want to um, end up scoring, is that this face will be the same size as your cut apart. So this one's four by three, four by four and three quarters. And I wanted this box to be half inch deep. So then that means I need to have a half inch score line on all edges. So this part is four and three, four by four and three quarters. So then overall, this needs to be five by five and three quarters so that I can have a half inch on either side and half inch um, on the uh, height as well. So once you score all the way around, meaning the top, bottom, and the two sides, then you want to cut on either the long side, which I did here, or if this was, uh, or you can cut on the short side, but you just wanna cut along one edge so that you can create these tabs. So then let's fold in all the score lines and then you want to bring the tabs in and you'll eventually glue them. And you want to do it like this, the tabs on the inside so that you don't see the tabs. And you'll basically want to create two of these, one for the top and one for the bottom of the box. So I've done that here. There's a top and a bottom. And then for the top one, which is um, the one here with this cardstock that's patterned cardstock. I hole punched, or not hole punched, but used a craft punch, a circle craft punch, to create notches so that it's easier to remove the top. And then you, know, you can put whatever you want inside here. So to embellish this box, you know, you can just put this straight on top and you can add another embellishment on top. Or if you don't want to, or if uh, this, tag inspires your box shape, you can still decorate this however you want. Just throw a 3D sticker on there, one dimensional sticker, prop it up on foam tape, throw some fabric on there, whatever you'd like. I have this little doily dimensional embellishment that I made the other day, which is um, from the same paper collection. That, uh, and yeah, if you just put just something like this on top of your box, it's, I think this is simple and pretty. So yeah, so just wanted to tell you guys that making boxes should not be intimidating. The next project is, I wanted to uh, show you an old project that I made, which is this cauldron, which basically is just two die cuts, but then I wanted to turn it into a container, an open top container. And all you need to do is cut a strip of paper, score it, and then fold notches in it. What really drives the height and the base of this is your die cut. I didn't want this to be too high, otherwise it'd be peeking out. I didn't want this too wide, or again, it would be peeking out on the side. So you kind of have to maybe eyeball it initially to see how tall and how wide you want something. But again, you can use any die cut to create a container out of it. This one just happens to be a cauldron and it stands up. So for this container, I just use tags to inspire me and these two tags are also from the Jen Hadfield Flower Child Collection. So this process for me is always trial and error. I always am amazed by crafters like Christian, who is Christian's Crafty Adventures. She can make these like no problem. She could do this in her sleep, but for me it's a trial and error. Because um, sometimes visually something you think of may you imagine it would look good, but then you, when you see it in real life, it's it doesn't really... Um, please you as much as you thought it would. So this project, I thought that I wanted a one and a half inch base. And this 
die cut is actually two inches by three and a quarter. So I figured, okay, one and a half inches should be wide, wide enough for this container. So overall length in this one was six inches by two and a half inches. And I scored it half inch on either side so that this scored part here can stick onto my cut apart. Sorry, a little bit out of frame there. So it can stick onto my cut apart like this. Well, after scoring and folding, I realized that it doesn't look that great to me. I'd rather have the container be the entire width of the cut apart. So then I created a second sheet, a second template, also two and a half inches by six inches. And here I scored at two inches so that it could be two inches high and two inches wide. So here, if I stick this on, it'll look like this, which I thought looked a lot better. The one and a half inch base just looked a little bit too narrow to me. So then all you have to do is just, you know, use double-sided sticky tape or glue and then just glue this on either side. So I'll be right back. I'll glue this and I'll show you the finished container. Okay, so I've basically double-sided sticky taped down each of the uh, edges onto the tag and or onto the cut apart. And now I have a container. So I think it's a uh, fairly straightforward. Hopefully this inspires you to create a container for yourself and you know, you can put embellishments in it. I'm not sure, I don't have anything handy right now to dump in here, but um, yeah, uh, hopefully you can make this too. And again, your container can be adjusted to whatever die cut you have and whatever, you know, tag or cut apart you use. So that is my project share today. Um, I apologize for the lighting because I'm filming at night. Um, hopefully it looks okay uh, once I post this video. But thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please visit the other crafters on this collaboration. I'll have them all linked below. And thank you to Alicia and Alicia for inviting me to this collab. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.